Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in front of ye old Harbor de Freights. And today we've got a special video by request. If you didn't know, there is a new coupon out, and some people asked the bear to weigh in on my favorite 15 items under $10. Now, now why that kind of specialty kind of thing, you ask? Well, you probably saw it in the thumb, but... There's a coupon out this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for 30% off any item under $10. Now, it's kind of weird the way this coupon works. It says limit five, and it says limit one coupon per customer per day. What this means is you can save 30% on up to five items under $10 purchased each day. Once per day, you can go in and get five items. So Friday, Sunday, or say Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can get a total of 15 items. So that's what we have for you, our top 15 items that you can get for under $10. And the bear has, I have some of my, my own uh, qualifications to go along with this top 15 list. And first and foremost is no free items. No items that you can normally pick up for free. I mean, there's no point in wasting a coupon on that and paying money for something you can get for free, right? Also, no items that are a great buy and you should probably pick up, but already have a decent coupon already on them. Yeah, you can save an extra 10% off of something like these Pittsburgh lock knife uh, plier sets, or plier sets, <laughs> utility knife sets, but well, why bother when there's something you can you know, use this on that'll get you more money for, you know, more return on your investment. Uh, next, there's going to be no items that are already so stupidly cheap that, you know, an extra percentage off isn't going to make a difference besides stuff like this. It's already... 50% off. So, you know, no super cheap stuff. We, we're trying to maximize our value. Uh, and lastly, no specialty items and materials. Yeah, you can get the Hercules grinding discs or you can pick up these Vulcan uh, TIG tips. There's a lot of great niche kind of stuff in uh, the Harbor Freights that they're under $10 that you normally cannot use this uh, one of the super coupons on. You know, Vulcan items are excluded. Hercules items are excluded. Yeah, that's true. But... We're trying to pick up, you know, tools and stuff that everyone can use. And these are more specialty kind of stuff. So you guys who are already into that sort of thing, you guys are in welding and grinding stuff, you already know the items you're going to buy. So there's, there's no point in, in adding those to the list. So let's get started, shall we? First and foremost, let's start it off big. Doyle. Oh, yeah. Now, as you know, uh, Harbor Freights has been doing their, you know, their Goldilocks thing. Good, better, best, right? Well... Uh, the Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Pro stuff is kind of your good line. You got the Quinn coming in at your better line, and Doyle is by far their their top of the line. You know, pro prosumer. Uh, I guess Quinn would be the prosumer. So this is their 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 shot at the pro levels here. And I got to tell you, I've been a real fan of these uh, since they came out. Uh, they're a little pricier than the other ones. And so what I've been doing is uh, pacing myself. I'll pick up a, a piece here. I'll pick up a piece here. Probably one or two a month as I go along. I figure, you know, by summer I'll, I should have the whole set and everything. But, wow, you know, most of them are in the uh, uh, the mid-teens to $20 range. But you can pick up this 12-inch high-performance groove joint pliers, a.k.a. channel locks, as those of us who are, you know, uncivilized and such call them. Uh, the uh, For those of you who know, that, that's like calling a, all copiers a Xerox kind of thing. So, anyway... The, uh, these things are great. They're, I, I have a set of these. I actually have a set of actual channel locks. Um, they're so close within spit and distance of quality. And as far as price, wow. I mean, an extra 30% off of $9, you know, high performance pro grade kind of pliers. You, those are a must have. You got to grab those. All right, moving on. Let's see what the bear has for you next here, shall we? We're going to lost my place. All right. The Drillmaster 4.8 volt cordless screwdriver set. <laughs> yeah, now this is, this is not a drill. This is an actual just screwdriver. I've got one of these in the house. We keep it in the uh, dr junk drawer in the kitchen. And it's so, if there's any little miscellaneous thing around the house that just needs a quick tightening or something like that, we can just grab that. It's easy for the wife to use, the kids to use. It, it's not overpowered. They're going to drive something right you know, through the surface or whatnot. And it beats having to run out to the garage and, and you know, grab one of my 20 volt tools and grab a battery off the charger. If I just want to fix something super quick or if I want to get in a simpler tight, uh, you know, like I'm working on a PC or something like that. It's a nice little, you know, and at, at $7, come on, 
you know, pick it up, charge it. You, if you use it, you know, once, twice a year, you'll, you'll thank the bear for that one. All right. Next we got the quantum 120 lumen flashlight. I got to tell you, the bear has been real impressed with these quantum flashlights. If you haven't seen my video comparing the night watchman style fl uh, flashlights, you got to check it out. We got the the new, the, the Maglite ML500, the, the big, uh, was it 3D cell uh, Maglite uh, and versus the new quantum version of that same light. We throw in the Craftsman, the Prolux, and the Coast. And we have a, a great melon bashing time with it, kid you not. Anyway, $9. Uh, I haven't yet found one of these quantum lights that I didn't like. And uh, this is another great pickup there for, for super cheap. Definitely something you want to get your paws on. All right. Next on the old list. This is, this is, this is my Friday list, in case you hadn't noticed. This is, this is the stuff you want to run out and get first off. All right. Magnetic tru uh, tray and screwdriver holder. All right. Now, I know, I know a lot of you are like, oh, these are just for people who have the big toolboxes and stuff, right? N not so fast. Remember, these are magnetic, so you can... Hold on. Let me pull up. There we go. There, there's the paper towel holder I use. That's on my uh, Harbor Freight workbench. It, it's metal, too, you know. You can put these things anywhere there's a piece of metal in your shop. You can just pop them right on there. They work great. Uh, and I got to tell you, they're, they're real handy. I'm sorry if it doesn't color match your new blue or lime green one, but still, it's $7. You got to pick that up. And if we're going to have that one, you got to get the next one. Your beer holder, I mean, spray can holder with screwdriver holder also for $9.99. I'm sorry, $7 there. Yeah, you can have one on either side of your cabinet. These are, are too easy easy to, to rationalize pickups. So you want to go out and, and grab those before they're gone. Now we're on to Saturday. Here's the Saturday specials. Oh, I, I know it's not exciting at all, but these things are fantastic. Now, I will be honest. I used to use... Well, hold on. Let me let me roll that back. For the other, those of you who haven't followed the channel for a long time, I uh, have a utility trailer that I use all the time. We tow stuff to California and up to Montana and all over the place, and I'm constantly using tie down straps. I've I've gone through so many different types of tie down straps and bungees and stuff. Uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of experience with them. Let's say. And I used to, you know, when I started off, I used a lot of these. Uh, we see down here the these multicolored elastic stretch cords. Uh, because they were really long and uh, because they've got uh, plastic ends on them and stuff so they don't scratch something or whatnot. Boy, I got to tell you, they don't last long. Uh, even the good ones, and I've gotten good ones, but if they're pulled tight and they rub over a corner or something, they'll fray right through and you'll go through them like nobody's business. These things are amazing. These, these rubber-esque, I'm not sure what they're made out of, unobtainium, I don't know. But the fact is, they have a, they, they stretch like nobody's business and they don't get super like crazy uh, strong when you stretch them too far. It's like they, they're like that old Stretch Armstrong. They just keep going and going and going. And they're durable as heck. And if you're worried about marring the surface, just pick up a can of Plasti Dip and dip the edges in that. There's your little hack of the day. D you know, dip your the metal parts in, in some Plasti Dip. It'll cost you a couple bucks. And then you've got protected corners and super resistant stretchy tie downs. These, these are way better than the cord ones. So trust trust the bear. You're going to want to go with those. The next on Saturday, the rotating magnetic LED work light. I can't tell you how many of you guys have said, you got to get one of these. You got to get one. These things are great. Tons of people are swearing by these things. And, and they're, they're great because you can sit them up on someplace, any place magnetic, and then swivel it to put a perfect spotlight on where you're working. You know, they even showed the example down here. They got it in the toolbox. Uh, they've and they've got it under the hood. That, that's a great idea. Unfortunately, the hood on my truck is fiberglass, so that won't work. But you know, <laughs> the idea is still there. There's a lot of places where you can get, and it puts out a good spotlight beam. It really does. And for seven dollars, that's something that that's definitely worth the money. All right, next the Pittsburgh bar clamp, uh, and this is kind of a catch-all for any of the clamps. Harbor Freight has some great clamps for the money. Uh, the problem is that they're not often, you know, on sale and such. And when they are, it's a, a mediocre sale sometimes. Some of them have some good sales, don't get me wrong. But like these bar clamps, I love these bar clamps. They're great for doing glue-ups and stuff because they're they're nice and rigid and they, they keep the workpiece, uh, you know, nice and straight. And, you know, and also, you know, the, the question is, you know, 
how how many clamps is, is is too many? Trick question. You can't have enough clamps. There's no way. You can never have too many clamps. So at seven dollars, these are a definitely must have. Number four for Saturday, Quinn Linesman's pliers. Now I watched a review the other day. Uh, oh shoot, I can't remember who it was. It was um, Redemption Garage, I think, where he compared the Pittsburgh, the Quinn, the Doyle to the Klein and the Knipix. And, you know, it, it was a, a, a really good comparison of the tools. I definitely recommend you go in and you check out his channel. That said, uh, you know, I, one thing that jumped into my head when watching that was, but one thing that popped in the bear's head when watching it was that it, it's the tool for the job kind of thing, that, that kind of mentality. You got to remember the, the Doyle, the uh, Klein and the Knipix are definitely, they're, they're designed for pros and they're going to be to pro kind of specs. The Quinn, most of the guys who are using this, they're not going to use it. They're not linemen. They're not going to be using it as a traditional electrical kind of stuff. They're just looking for a solid uh, set of square nose kind of, kind of pliers here. Uh, maybe something can pull some steel tape, most likely just something that can, you know, crush a good crimp on something and uh and grab something you know solidly and that's what these do and at at 749 they're already a great deal and now we're going to knock 30 percent off of that so for your average you know home sumer if you would i i think this is a great piece to pick up and next we got the 18 inch breaker bar from pittsburgh pro uh, if you're relying on you know your regular uh you know ratchet there and a cheater bar you know give it up <laughs> Ten dollars is already a good deal, and now we're going to get to you for seven. Oh, come on, come on, get get off your tush, get out the hard freight, pick one of these up. You know you need one. And next up, we got the Sunday deals. Now, now this doesn't mean you can only buy it on Sunday. I'm just joking that you're going to, you know, get five each day, and this is the order I'd buy them in. So, the half inch drive composite ratchet. This is a nice ergonomic ratchet. Let me tell you, if you want to add a decent ratchet to your set with a nice little button release there. This is the way to go. Seven dollars. You you will not. You, 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 what am I going? I can't say you can't go wrong again, but I'm going to. You can't go wrong with this. Next up, twenty one piece carbon steel uh, tap and die. Uh, if you just need something to get you get you out of a jam, th this is a, a great piece to have. It, now I have the the bigger you know the full size piece, uh, set and everything, and and I love them, but. You know, not everyone needs all of that. And for $7, as I said, it'll pull your fuzzy butt out of a, of a jam if you've got some threads that are all messed up and and you need to get that, that project finished. Quinn, we're back with Quinn again. Yep, the 10-piece quarter-inch drive metric chrome socket set. Uh, and they have an SAE socket set, and there's, I think, a... Some other socket sets around there uh, that that are in that same kind of price range. So really, this is kind of placeholder for all the you know sub ten dollar socket sets, but specifically the Quinn ones. Again, these are a, you know supposedly a step up from the Pittsburgh ones. They're a great set. A lot of people have been saying that they're uh, similar to the ones that they sell at Lowe's. I don't know if it's a Cobalt brand or whatever, but uh, this is a great set uh, to pick up. And at seven dollars, you, you're gonna like that. Next up for our Sunday buys, we've got the six-piece precision plier set from Pittsburgh. Okay, this is not the big set. This is the smaller set. You got some nice pair of uh, snips there. You got some uh, yeah, long nose, needle nose pliers. Some some regular short nose, needle nose pliers. This is a great when you get into a tight spot and you need something small to get in there and snip something or twist something. This is what you need to pick up. I, I've got a set of these. Uh, sitting right next to my workbench. I use them all the time. They're, they are excellent. And at $8, they're already a, a no-brainer for a buy. And now we're going to take another 30% off of that. And lastly, for our Sunday purchase, we've got the 10-inch adjustable professional wrench from Pittsburgh. Yeah, you know, you can get by with, with your standard wrench and all. But th this makes things a little bit more ergonomic, a little more comfortable. Nice wide opening on it. Uh, it's got a four and a half star rating. It, this is a good solid wrench that you'll be happy to pick up rather than grimacing at, at one of those, you know, non ergonomic models. Anyway, there's your top 15 items, but wait, don't go away now. We, of course, you know how the bear is. I can never keep my list to just what I say. We got to have a bonus round. Bonus round. All right, here we go for our bonus round purchases. Say you didn't like something on the list. Here's your substitutes. We got 
the cordless micro engraver. Yeah, you know, I was going to include that uh, that stamp set because I'm a big fan of, you know, marking the tools so you, you, you know it's yours or whatnot. Here's a micro engraver. You can now etch your initials on everything you own, especially if you work in a shop so it doesn't go wandering off. Or if it does, you can hunt them down and pummel them. All right, next on the bonus round list, we've got the 8-inch survival knife. Yeah, <laughs> you know you see this every time you walk through Harbor Freight, and you know you're like, okay, that's stupid, but I kind of want it. At $7, come on, it's a guilty pleasure. You know you want to get it. Okay. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. All right. Okay, next up on the list, the Easy Reach Grab and Pickup Tool. Now I know you're like, oh, we're not of us are as old as you, Bear. We can pick things. No, 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 no. These things are great for reaching stuff that like fall behind your cabinet or your tool or something in small you know workplaces, especially stuff that's not magnetic. You drop a piece of, of wood or something you're cutting back there, and you don't want to have to pull your whole tool out away from the wall, or your bench or whatnot. The, this thing is great. Also, if you're storing stuff up high, rather than having to pull out a step stool to get up there to get it, you just grab this off the, the shelf and you can get those items that you keep up on the top shelf a lot easier. We we use them in uh, in the kitchen. The, the missus stores a bunch of stuff up above our uh, our shelves and she uses them to grab pull stuff down all the time rather than having to break out the step stool. Next, wheels. Wheels are a big thing. Anytime you're, you're like doing stuff in the shop and you want to add wheels to stuff, I don't know about you, but... I go and I look, and I built a nice little, you know, uh, you know, stand for something. I want to put wheels on it. And I go, okay, yeah, yeah. I get down there. They're not on sale. And the next thing I know, I'm adding, you know, 40 bucks, four wheels, $10 or whatever, to the price of the cabinet. I'm like, why did I build this myself again? Well, here we go. We got, you know, now you can get 30% off the wheels of your choice. Because, of course, they have some great sales, but they never have the wheels I want on sale. It just, or they have, like, the straight the regular casters, but not the locking casters on sale or the locking casters are on sale, but not the other casters. This way it doesn't matter. I can pick them all up. And last of the bonus items, the 150 pound retrieving magnet. I don't know what the hell you're going to do with it, but I want one. I don't know. You go fishing in the river and pull out miscellaneous stuff. Uh, you know, maybe you got some things you want to move around the shop, put a pulley up on the ceiling. And now you can just pop that magnet up on it and, and, and lift it right up. I, I don't know, but it, I, I got this thing for magnets. I always love playing with magnetic fields and stuff. And 150 pounds, I'm sure I can hurt myself with this thing. So I think I should give it a shot. What do you say? All right. What did you think of the list? That's it. That's everything. That's the full 15 items plus your bonus round. I know some of the items you may think they're a little hit or miss. Hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? <laughs> And you think the bear's not up to date with what the, the kids are into these days. Little do you know. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you guys have some great buys at Harbor Freight this weekend. Be sure to post down below in the comments what you scored and, uh, and what you think of it. All right, everyone. Take care. Until next time, shine on.